an update about Optimus robot. So in the video the main important thing was Optimus being able to self calibrate itself and also it sorting out objects based on color on the table so that's what we want to talk about today like why is robot calibration so important and why that act of a robot being able to sort objects based on color also so important we've been able to see it a number of times from different robots different companies releasing their robots being able to sort items based on color but why is it so important so robot self-calibration uh, is important because it can improve the accuracy and performance of robots in various tasks like what is robot calibration so robot calibration is the process of identifying the real geometrical parameters in the kinematic structure of a robot such as the relative position of joint links robot calibration can also compensate for errors caused by manufacturing tolerances wear and tear temperature changes and other factors by using self calibration methods robots can adjust their parameters without relying on external measurement system or tools which can be costly time consuming or impractical in some situation calibration is very costly like where i'm from when we use some skf uh, we usually use some skf uh, products and when the product is out of calibration you're supposed to say to send it to either the us or the uk or sometimes australia for it to be calibrated which is usually very costly sometimes nearly the same cost as buying a new one so if you have uh, you have a tool that can be able to self calibrate itself man it saves a lot on time and cost self saves a lot so this is pretty important for the robot to be able to self calibrate itself so that it can adjust itself it knows the position it wants to know like where exactly my joints are my links are where exactly this is then from that point onwards it can be able to do its thing now when it comes to sorting out of uh, items based on color is an example of a task that requires both vision and manipulation skills a robot that can sort balls or items by color needs to be able to detect the color and position of each item pick it up uh, with a suitable gripper and place it in a correct location according to predefined order or pattern so in this case the robot really needs to know like the position the xyz position of an item in space at a certain period in time so when it tells its position then the robot has to know like which force am i supposed to use to grip this item then when you grip it you're supposed to take it from position x to position y usually for us it is our mind doing it for ourselves so like, this task can actually be used for applications such as quality control recycling or education there are different ways to implement a robot sorting out items by color depending on the type of sensor gripper and algorithm used 